Welcome back to Ways. Um, Uri Ungozi Chukuka is a content entrepreneur with over 13 years experience developing content for TV and radio. So we say behind any great success is strategic planning. So there's no better way to start the year than starting right now with all the right strategies. <laughs> Yeah, so remember you can join the conversation. Twitter us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways. Or you can send us an SMS to 081-8038-4663. Thank you so much for joining us, Uri. Thank you, ladies. By the way, I love your hair. Happy you're all blonde yeah. and you're looking like a sunshine this day. Oh wow. <laughs> In the evening. So yeah. how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. All right, so um when we read your profile, you know, we saw that it was really, really impressive in terms of, you know, especially me, I know it's not easy to be in this space mm -hmm. of content creation okay. in Nigeria. Okay. So how have you weathered the storm in terms of sustaining? The, what are the strategies you've used over the years to, to do business? Okay, when you talk about content creation, you have to understand that, um, first of all, is creativity. And um, when you're a creative person, you know, like, you can always, like, have this eureka moment, you know, in, you know, like, in the, sometimes in the wee hours of the morning. So one of the first things you always do, always have your piece of paper and pen around. That happens and, to me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And make sure that, you know, you always write your ideas down. Now, even for any other kind of business whatsoever, always write down your ideas, mm. you know, write down your strategies write down your plan now for business you know like when you want to start a business you have an idea what you want to do but then you really don't know how the path and the route you're going to take you know the good thing about writing down once you start putting things down it just comes to you Absolutely. so you just write it down okay this is what i want to do especially now that the year is just starting so it's a good time you know for you to like say okay fine i want to do this and then you put a few things down now when you put a few things down um you have to like realize that one of the things that can also keep you in your business is your passion and um now what is your passion you know people are like okay i have a passion for this i have a passion for this i have a passion for this <laughs> but what's the purpose of your passion you know. mm. <laughs> now, of course, we like to <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. you know. What's the purpose of that passion? And um, you realize that um, if it has to do, when you begin to work, you know, like um, towards your purpose or with your purpose, you'd, um, it's not just about your bank balance right now. It's actually about making a change making and making impact. a difference yeah. and making an impact and connecting with your environment and, you know, seeing that, okay, apart from making money from your environment or from your dreams and your passion, you're actually, you know, bringing something to the table. You're adding value to your environment, to your immediate environment. You're creating jobs. You're creating, um, you, you know, like you're creating just a whole lot of things, you know, that people can connect with. So you're sounding so very nice and all textbooky because people always say that write it down, write it down. So because it's a it's a common habit. Once it's January thirty first to like first week, second week in January, everybody's writing their goals, everybody's writing their plans, everybody's no. writing everything. I just I sorry <laughs> sorry I put up a post yeah. you know and. I'll just quote the post. I just said, oh my goodness, everybody chill, give me a break. Goals, goals, goals. Everybody feels that January has a magic air that makes you sane, focused, <laughs> and result-oriented. Yeah. And those things do not exist in January if you do not have it in you. So no matter the amount of, you know, like goals, objectives, this is what I want to do, and all that you do in January, <laughs> trust me, by 15th of January. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. So I, I have a question. And reading your profile, mm. you're an ex-banker, calm, yes. TV, yes. and yes. media person, basically. Yes. And I'm an ex-banker, and I have a sister who is currently a banker, soon to be an ex-banker, because uh, she's ex -ex. trying to chase her dreams. Okay. So, in your experience, what was that? What gave you that confidence? Because a lot of people are afraid that you know, what if it doesn't work out? You know, I'm used to getting my salary on a monthly basis yes what's going to what's that thing that you did that pushed you or what was it yes. that made you take that step okay um followed my dreams and my passion yes i was an ex i was a banker and i was right into you know like the hardcore banking and everything but then anytime we had like an end of year party i was either the mc or i was either the planning in the planning committee and um and uh, while i was also a banker i do a, i did a lot of writings and you know my articles were always published 
that you know so uh, media communications you know creating content it just came naturally to me and um, I also realized that no I can't keep doing this I just had to find me right and it was it came easy again because I always always had told my colleagues that if I ever get married and I want to have kids I'm not gonna do a nine-to-five mm. so actually when I wanted to have kids I, it was a, it was uh, it was it was a, a no-brainer, no you know. I was just like, okay, yeah, this is it, and I had all the kids. So when I wanted to come back to work, of course, you know, my contemporaries were all MDs and all that, and um, I didn't really know where to start. But a, a friend of mine just said, Uri, you know what? You had enough courage to leave, so why come back? And I'm like, yeah. And then I walked into a TV house, a radio house, and I just began to do news. You know, um, and then for I think I worked like just like six months, but it was too when I was doing news on TV, it was too constricting, you know, because mm. you had to be straight jacketed and all that. And I had all kinds of crazy ideas in my head. And I can see your hair. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, no, it was just not working. And um, so I just quit news and I began to create content, you know, for radio, for TV. I had ideas, you know, you know, like to sell products, to sell services and everything. And so we just grew and grew, you know, from there and just uh, continued. I, I think I'll just jump right into my next question, to the next question. I, first of all, want to salute to you. That is very courageous to just leave a steady income. There was no problem. Nobody told you to go home. And Nobody told did, me to go home. And then you decided to do that, so kudos. Now, so I hear you saying you left, you know, the bank and then you also worked in TV for like six months. For someone listening, it just seems very easy. But I'm sure that, or let me just assume that behind that was a strategy. What steps did you put in place? Like leaving television, for example, mm. and, and deciding that you want to now go on your own. What did you do? What steps did you take? Did you have to save for it? Did you just... You know, you just don't yeah. it, You know, like for every and um, for every entrepreneur, for every business person, or for everyone who's really, really successful, there's just something driving you. There's an inner, you know, like UMPH that like you say, huh? You know, like you, so, so it's driving you. And I was really feeling very, you know, like um, I was feeling claustrophobic and suffocated. Not you know, comfortable. not comfortable doing the same thing yeah. and there were so many ideas in my head and if you need to succeed you need to get to a point where you take a decision and like look if I perish I perish where you just like okay I have to do this so that was like, your strategy to just up and leave just, yes. Like, yes so you had not and put in maybe because um, if I understand yeah did you put in like a business <laughs> practical let, okay let me <laughs> say <laughs> this okay okay I, I I had started growing in terms of content creating mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. well, you had been doing it on the side, <laughs> on the side. yes <laughs> I, you know, like I had um, come up with a um, very exciting program on radio mm -hmm. and there were so many other programs that I had. And so this program, you know, we'd gotten sponsorship and this was years back when people were not even, you know, like doing, you know, like sponsorships on radio and everything. And I'm like, oh, I could do this, you know, I can do this. And then I like, okay, let me do like a business news on radio as well. And let's see how it goes. And we had organizations that are like, oh yeah, I would like to do business. We'd like to sponsor the news on uh, the business news too. I would like to do stock market reports too. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once I knew that, okay, fine. Um, there is a market, a ready market. there is a need. And uh, there's something like the radio stations are not doing, you know, that I can actually like do on the side. And I could do dramas as well. I could use drama to also sell your products and your services. I'm like, okay, what about your news? Time. Awesome. Exactly. There, there was <laughs> I think we're, we're going to leave it there because there was a solid plan. But we have to beg that we have to bring you back. <laughs> we just had, um, you know, um, we just had to share a bit of your story because when we read your profile, we said, wow, this is, I mean, it's a very brave step. Banker, banker people. <laughs> you know, she left banking but went back to another nine to five. She's yeah. still in banking. So um, they've not had the courage to leave yet. Yeah, but I'm sure it. when they meet you the second time, <laughs> they would have left. Why really want to leave? That's another thing. No, all right, no, so it, it all depends. Yeah, if it you're, all depends. You know, I used to say that, you know, like um, I worked in the bank, yeah. but I wasn't a banker. Awesome. So oh, you here. have to be able to know that you are a banker, yes. that there are professional bankers. Mm -hmm. And I've always believed whatever we're doing is worth doing well. Absolutely. So if I'm not a professional banker, I shouldn't be there. Awesome. I, but I can work in a bank and I have done that. So it was easy for me to take that decision. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Uri. <laughs> we learned so much from you.
Um, up next, we'll have Thelma Ekio. She will join us after this quick break.